Hey guys, what's up? I hope you all are doing great. Uh, good morning from South Africa. It's about 25 minutes past 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the weather is great today in my town. I have a nice laptop here. A laptop came for no boot. It doesn't boot. Uh, if we switch it on yeah, it's coming on the light is on Mesa logo and then it's gone uh, I think the laptop will keep restarting if I'm not sure um, no it doesn't restart The model number of this laptop is Maser Z140C slash EDU Edu. Um, my initial thought on this laptop is look if I put the charger in uh, this one let me show you guys the laptop charges it's coming on also can you guys see after I plug in the charger then it goes off um I am suspecting this laptop might have a problem with the BIOS so we will try to reset the BIOS first things second things uh, let me tell you guys a, a short story uh, last week I had a repair on a Hawaii uh, P20 Lite phone the phone was shutting itself down and restarting itself uh, I thought in the beginning the the software was a faulty or the touch was a faulty but none of them were true uh, I eventually ended up finding out that the phone's power button it's a ribbon that connects to the motherboard and uh, with three buttons volume up down and power button now the power button uh, probably uh, corroded inside because of water damage water went somehow inside and um, I couldn't repair the power button but I found a replacement ribbon and then uh, when I changed the ribbon then the phone worked just fine so it can be that the power button is faulty so what happened when you press the power button uh, the power button is still stuck probably and that's why the laptop is shutting down it's it's very 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 possible um, so let's open the laptop and first we we do with the BIOS reset and from there we see if the BIOS reset um, sort the problem out. Okay, the laptop is open. Right. Okay. Hey guys, check. This is the motherboard. Uh, companies, 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 guys, guys, guys. Okay. 
all right this laptop has uh, the power button is on the keyboard Where is the keyboard? Let's have a look. This is the keyboard. If we remove the keyboard, the keyboard looks fine. Let's try to put the charger now. And you guys see the keyboard is out. It's not coming on because I plugged out the keyboard. But, but, um, but now it doesn't come on straight away. When I plug in the keyboard what happens then let's have a look i don't see any any problem on the keyboard connect all looks fine that looks just fine Then it goes off. I haven't touched the power button. Now I touched. And it goes off. <coughs> Can it be the keyboard? Possible. Possible. comes on and then goes off so there's a big possibility that this keyboard is gone it might have a water damage possible also but I don't see any visible water damage. I don't see it. You were showing me checking now, but let's reset the BIOS quickly, if there is one. Battery to reset. I hope there is one. I'm not surprised to see a board like this. This is, uh, I think some of the cell phone has a bigger board than this laptop. Yes, I don't sell. Uh, can you guys understand how small this is, this board? Let me, let me remove the stickers and then I will show you guys. Um, this is those type of laptop that are very cheap pricing wise. Uh, basically, the, the companies they want the lower budget people to buy this. Um, right, this is the CPU, no fan or anything is there.
I don't see a battery of the BIOS. There is no BIOS battery. Let me remove this one. You know what? Let me remove all those connectors and see if something is malfunctioning or giving us problem. Just the keyboard and the display. Right. Let's try to power it up. Nothing. <clears throat> Let's remove the battery and then we can hold the power button for For a while, I think that in front of me, okay. So about 30 seconds or so. As I don't see any BIOS battery there, um, I don't think it's on the other side of the board. Uh, and I, I don't see any BIOS file if I can use a BIOS programmer to flash. I don't see any file like that. There is simply nothing. Okay, this Maser is a South African company. I think the name is registered to South Af African company. So basically this is a local brand, but I believe it is manufactured in China, probably. Okay, guys, you guys can see this is made very, 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 very cheaply. It shows tiny motherboard. I can see the red bed light is on. Let's have a look. Green light comes on itself, Mesa comes on, then goes away. As you guys can see, it's coming on restarting trying to switch on or something but i haven't touched the power button yet let's see if we can go into the bios nope as soon as i touch something Guys, I found the problem, as I was suspecting that it is the problem, it can be the problem for the keyboard. Remember this keyboard comes with the power button on it. Um, I found the power button does have, uh, I mean, I found the, 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 the pin on the keyboard connector which supplies 3.3 volt to the power button on the keyboard is the third one for the right to left one two three check in my multimeter 3.274 that's 3.3 volt um, now what happens on this 3.3 volt when i press it's supposed to
there's our 3.3 volt it's supposed to when i press the power button it's supposed to go zero and then when i release it's supposed to come back to 3.3 volt now let me press the power button it goes to zero if i release it it doesn't get back to 3 volt can you guys see it does that it doesn't come back to 3.3 volt you see now that is causing this computer to shut down it's it's not going to the boot i mean it doesn't boot because it stays pressed it comes after a while it comes on to 3.3 volt hello later you see it takes couple of seconds for that 3.3 volt to come back so it means this power button is somehow um, pressed on even if i released it i think there is probably uh, some type of liquid damage uh, that's my guess look it doesn't come to 3.3 after a while it comes 3.3 that is why this computer is not uh, booting. When you power it on with the power button, it goes, it comes on. But because it's the power button is holding itself down, uh, it's, it's going to off. It's going to shut down. The laptop shuts itself down. Now, what happens if we try to power it on without keyboard? Now check, 3.3 volt, I will use a tweezer, this plate is a ground and then we can short that, right, if I release, it should come on same time, you see, 3.3 volt, now let's have a look, I'm still off, let me try again. Right. Check in the screen. And check. Checking media pressure. Laptop is on. <laughs> Laptop is on. It's not shutting it down. But what happened when I put the keyboard button, keyboard on, onto the laptop? Let's see. It goes off same times. Can you guys see? Power on. Keyboard. Plugged. Let's plug it in one more time. There goes the laptop off. <coughs> you know guys. Um, I would like to do something. Before I want to end this video, one last thing. Uh, I can't see anything on the connect, okay? But I would love to try to clean it and see if that changes anything. For that, I need alcohol. I am not seeing, okay, I do have my alcohol bottle. Let's clean the connectors and we see from there what happened. Okay, 
Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Right. That's our connector. Yeah. Let's clean the connector and the ribbon. Uh, and let's let's see if it changes anything. Well, I did find a replacement keyboard, right? But my problem is if maybe let me let me disconnect the battery first. If the connector has a problem, just want to make sure. Some alcohol and on the connector too. I can't see anything with my eyes or under the uh, microscope. I really can't see. Might be the problem. Um, okay. I've been searching, looking if there is a way maybe we have the same problem in another person's computer laptop um, everyone lots of video online saying cleaning the ribbon would help before I make the customer decide to buy a new keyboard okay let's plug it in Check with our multimeter. Not a ground. Sorry. We do have 8.31 volt. We have 2.274 volt on the power button. Okay. The charger is not plugged in, so there should not be any voltage. Let's try. My fingers are crossed. My fingers are crossed, even though I'm not very hopeful. I'm not very hopeful. Okay, there is our 3.275 volt, means 3.3 volt on the power button. 
let's see uh, the previous portion of the video when I press the power button it goes to zero and when I release it doesn't come back to 3.3 volt okay as you can see it's not jumping or anything it's holding 3.275 volt let's power try to power it on I released it it goes back to 3.329 that's a good sign that's a good sign it's not going or holding under on the on the zero volt it's a good sign but will we have a picture I can feel the hard drive is spinning still nothing okay we have picture and it's loading windows that circles means it's loading windows let's have a look we might have fixed the laptop we might have fixed the laptop it's not shutting down I think is it being this cross I hope it's not shutting down. Come on. Come on, give me a good sign. Don't give me a Mesa logo again. Don't give me a Mesa logo again. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it's not shutting down or restarting it's not shutting down or restart what do you guys think do you think it's fixed I think it's fixed but now the, the there is a question If after cleaning the connector and the ribbon, if the problem is not there, problem is here on the power button, this, this laptop should go off. Now, my question is, what if I now give this laptop back to customer and after a few days or hours, it start to have the same problem? You see? So what I'm going to do, I will keep this laptop on for a few hours before I decide to uh, call the customer and let him know that it's fixed. I think I don't have the password on it, so I won't be able to use it. Um, but I can leave this laptop on like this for a few hours or overnight and then see if it shuts down itself you see and after a day or two i can contact the customer to come and collect the laptop look it was coming on um itself let's have a look if this laptop comes on itself i just put shut down When, 
even I, when I was trying to plug in the charger, the laptop was also that time coming up. See? On the first time. Let me have a look. Okay, can, you guys can see there is no power button. Power, uh, I mean, power light is off. Means the laptop is shut. Laptop is off. Let's uh, put the charger in. Let's see what happened. No, 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 no. The screen is not coming. I mean, laptop is not coming on. Nothing. But it should show us a. Okay. I can see a orange light f telling me there is a charger is it's charging. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me show you guys like that. Okay, there is the orange light. Can you guys see? There you go. That's the charging light. So the laptop is charging fine. right one more time guys let's try one more time hopefully this time also it comes on it doesn't shut down i see a green light on the power button okay it's booting up please don't go shut down okay um windows is loading <laughs> windows is loading Yes. Where is the mouse now? It's charging fine. Yes, it's charging fine. It's charging all good. okay um guys i hope you guys learned something out of this video um it was an interesting fault for me um, but i did learn something let's uh, let's hope you guys <coughs> learn also something out of this video um, as usual I will end this video now um, so please like and subscribe share my channels info to your friends and family um, that helps me to grow my channel as you guys all know please do share my channels info please um, I will say thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. You guys take care, okay?